Hey, it's Melissa from Kiwi Banana, and today I'm going to be doing part three of the Q&A that I'm recording at the moment, I'm putting out there for you. And the question that I was just about to start on the last one was from Reg Flowers, so I'm going to get into that now, and he has a channel, so I can leave, um, that he puts content up, and so I'll leave a link in the description box down below, his channel, which I just gave him a shout out recently, and he asks... He got the impression for some of the things that I've said in my past videos that I may have an intimate history in the meat industry. And he asked, do I still have friends who work in the meat industry? And I actually have worked in uh, dairy farms and I have worked in slaughterhouses. I'm going to be doing a video on these topics of my history in these industries and the future and I'm actually probably going to be recording them in the next week or so and they will be up within the next few months so keep an eye on out for that and I I do have I currently do have a really good friend who is not vegan and they work in a fish factory and yeah that's that's also not very they're not loving it, let's just say that. So I don't really have any friends that I'm really close with that I would say that I am, um, that are working in like slaughterhouses or like dairy farms, things like that at the moment, although I probably have a lot of ex-friends who still do. And so yes, yeah, so I'm gonna dive into that in another video because it, it could be quite long. It could be quite long and I have to think about how I want to approach it because I don't want to be naming names and organisations and just try and keep it as sort of professional as possible. So yeah. And the next question is from Inner Peach and I have done a collab with her before? Yeah, I think I have. We did like a video together and so I'll leave a link in the description box down below, her channel. And she asked, what was the most, what was one of the first positive and negative things that you noticed when I became vegan? Peace and love. Thanks. Um, positive things was my energy. I know that sounds, sounds very self-absorbed, you always know thinking about the oneself instead of the fact that people go vegan is not really necessarily for oneself but for things outside the oneself um, the negative thing would be obviously some people's uh, judgments of when they find out that you're vegan so that's probably yeah for you First positive thing is like my energy levels increase even more, and then the negative thing would be people's judgments of yeah when I when they found out that I was vegan and the, not to be honest, it's not actually very often that I end up saying that I'm vegan. It's someone else that tells them that I'm vegan, and I'm like crap. It's not necessarily the first thing that I wanted them to know about me, but hey. Right. Next question from Chanel again and she asks what's my favorite book series I'm gonna to have to be honest here I actually don't read a lot of books for enjoyment I used to when I was a child and then when I was a teenager I was kind of like oh I'm too cool to read books and then when I left school and kind of got into my tertiary education and I just had to start reading a whole lot of books for course requirements so it's kind of feels a little bit like a chore to me and like one of my degrees I'm studying at the moment is law and there tends to be a lot of content to read so yeah I don't read any book series but I one that I do remember when I was a child I really liked Goosebumps when I was a child yeah Goosebumps was one of my favorite I like things scary and stuff like that and I think we'll leave it here. So this will be the end of uh, part three of my Q&A. And if you stay tuned, part four will be coming out soon. So I hope you've done something that makes you happy today. Subscribe would be nice. Like if you do. And I'll see you soon.
Bye.